Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff. I'm Frankie. And today we'll be talking about the Roku Express. Now the Roku Express is an alternative to things like the Chromecast or the Amazon Fire TV stick. Now last time we had anything to do with an Amazon Fire TV stick. Uh, yes. The, it had seen better days, yes, it had shall we say. Yes, it had indeed. Uh, rest assured nothing like that will happen today. And we're going to see what's the difference between the Fire TV stick and, as I said, something like a Chromecast in terms of its functionality. Now, the biggest thing you'll find is that thing sitting over here. You get a remote control, like you do with the Amazon Fire TV stick, but unlike you do with the Chromecast. When you're using a Chromecast, all you've got is the device to control, and that can be frustrating. If the, yeah. yes, if the device loses connection <coughs> with the Chromecast, things like that, it can be um, very, very irritating. Yeah, it can be halfway through a YouTube video. Yes. And pause it, it yeah, to go and, and answer the phone. Or try, or, to, pause it, or try to pause it. Or try to pause it, Try to yeah. pause it, and it's lost connection. You can't pause it. Or uh, resume it. Or, or resume it, it. Or, or do anything. Uh, yeah, so having a physical remote control is very very useful and it's a nice control yes. uh, it's I mean, yeah yes it's, it's nicely designed um, just simple controls nothing too nothing too complicated there's some sponsored buttons at the bottom here the positioning of the Roku box is a little unique and there's a reason why we don't have it in our hands and can show you you should be seeing it now in a in a nice little cutaway, but the reason for that is that it uh, literally sticks to the side of your TV. It comes instead of it being a little stick that pokes out of one of your HDMI sockets or dangles from one of your HDMI sockets. It actually comes with a adhesive pad. Yes. Which you can stick to the side of your TV and then you stick the Roku to that. And there's the infrared sensor on the front of the device, which means that because it's sat at the side of your TV, sat on the side of the bezel, it's got sight of the remote control. This means you don't have to have uh, infrared sensing uh, extension running round from the back of the TV to a little dot that sits just below your TV or something some kind of solution like that which some devices use it's physically sat at the side of your TV yes and that's that's fine on to older sets like our set which has got fairly big chunky bezels but if it was a more modern TV that's just that's not going to work However, obviously, a more modern set's going to have smart stuff built, yeah, into sm it. Stuff's built into it. And talking of built in, as well as casting, there are applications, channels, if you will, built into the Roku stick. Uh, what sort of things can you? Uh, we've put YouTube on there, haven't we? That was built, yeah, that, that comes, that yeah, that, that comes, yeah, come autom it automatically came with. Amazon, uh, Netflix, YouTube, Netflix, which is also sponsored. Yes, uh, Google, movies. Google Movies and TV, and uh, a couple of others. And there are loads of other ones you can add, but you can you don't need to cast to it. You can literally just it's in the menu. Yeah. Once yeah. you've added them, they add to your yes. menu. You've got a nice on-screen display. It's quite responsive isn't it yes you can cast you can do chromecast to it but you can uh you can just navigate entirely using the remote if you want as well did it come with all the channel catch-ups automatically or did we have to add those in um i think it came with bbc i think 
I think I can't, we had to yeah, install we, we may have had to, uh, add, go to the yes. channel four and five. Possibly, I think it may have came with, but they're all available. Yes. If it doesn't come with your preferred catch up, it'll probably be there, certainly for the UK channels. Yes. Uh, obviously, if you're in other parts of the world, that might vary, but certainly everything from the major UK suppliers is there. There's a good search function, isn't there? Yes, there. yes. It either divides it all into categories or you just have your normal magnifying glass that you go to and type in what you want to see whether it's there. Yes, and it isn't just restricted to the major suppliers. There no. are all sorts of weird and wacky service you can go on and, and find from free movies to uh i think your dad has russia today or something oh uh, he, yes he likes... yeah, there are a lot of news channels yeah. cnn and i believe sky, sky news, news and, and uh all those sorts of and uh, wall street wall street news. News. Yeah. yeah um they've got all those but also little um homegrown channels a lot of uh, a, a lot of Christian channels and uh, special interest channels and stuff like Japanese that. Japanese manga. And yes, like all that. all sorts of weird and wonderful things you can find. There's a Pokemon channel. Yes, I just there's remembered. a Pokemon. I'm not sure how legitimate or official it is. But <laughs> I haven't downloaded it. No, um, and it'll say whether it's a free channel or whether it's one you have to pay for. Um, but yeah, there's there's lots of lots of choice. You could even set up your own Roku channel if you wanted to. Um, it's a it's a nice little setup. It's certainly a lot less frustrating than having to rely on casting alone, like you do with the Chromecast. It will act as a Chromecast, and seeing as this is basically the same price yeah. as a Chromecast then you're getting the extra functionality and extra reliability of a proper infrared remote control. You can, you've got the best of both worlds. You've got the sitting on your TV and casting from your tablet or your smartphone, or you've got just channel bipping yeah. with a remote. You've got that option. Yeah, I was going to say, if Lokash, you suddenly find that all your tablets have run out of charge at the yes. same time, yeah, that can, can still... Ha yeah, that can happen. <laughs> You've still got yeah. the remote control to fall You've back on. Options. Yeah, which is nice. You've got options. And because it's more channel independent than, say, the Amazon, um, you're less likely to come into problems with one supplier not carrying another supplier's uh, service. Yeah, it is really nice to be able to have you know, Google Play movies and your Amazon Prime, and your Netflix, yeah, all on one device. Yes. And not having to switch between, yeah. oh, this one's not got that one, so I've got to switch this machine mm. on to get to that. Yes. That, I that must admit, easy. that is really nice to be able mm. to just have everything in one place. Yeah. And uh, one funny, uh, what's one odd exception, I would say, would be... Um, Twitch. Apparently, oh, yes. it did used to have a Twitch channel. Sometime in, uh, in like, but sometime in 2017, it, it was taken off. I don't know that why. That's really annoying. Yes. Um, I mean, it's Amazon. It's, you know, why? Why isn't that there? Why isn't there an official? Obviously, you could cast to it um, from your phone or your tablet, but it would be nice if it was a proper channel. Um, perhaps, yeah, perhaps that'll reappear at some point, who knows. So overall, it's a very good product. It gives you the flexibility of usage. It has a very nice and usable form factor with the sticking to the side of the TV. If you're fine with that, if you're fine with, you know, you're not too precious about your TV, um, as I said, if you've got a very thin TV, it's probably got smart built into it, so it, it's not going to be a problem um, on your older TVs. No. If you've got a 
fairly chunky bezel it should you, be fine. I was going to say you might have an issue if you've got one that's got a slightly curved bezel. Yes you've got a curved yes um, but if you've got a flat area edges, somewhere. Yeah if you've got a flat edge I mean, you could go on the top or possibly underneath as well. That's, uh, but because it's black it's very discreet. Yes you yes, yes really it's, just a, it. it's just a little power light isn't it? There's a yes. little power light and that's about it. So its form factor and functionality um, are very good and it's Platform independence is also a, a big plus as well. As I said, because of its similar price to the Chromecast, it probably represents better value than one of those. You can get higher spec versions, but we're just looking at the standard Roku Express. The Roku Express. The, not the, uh, it's not yeah. the 4K, no, it's no. just the Roku Express. Yeah. So those are our thoughts about the Roku Express. But what do you think? Have you got one? Have you got something that you think would be better? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe and you'll see more of the types of videos that we do at yes. regular intervals. That's the idea at any rate. Yes. Don't hold us to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that's been the Roku Express. I've been Jeff. I've been Frankie. And you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much.